Example three is uh, we have basically a uniform magnetic field uh, which points into the page so it's going let's use my purple I want to be consistent with the colors here B vector points into the page but only within this region so only here okay and then we put attached to that a loop that we attach to that some mass M okay and if there was no current in that loop if we drop that weight it would just fall right um, because of the different things that might be going on that we'll be learning about soon there's actually going to be a current generated in that loop but we're not going to think about that right now okay we're just going to think about how much force is required to keep this thing stationary so we basically we have the force of gravity okay so the sum of the forces um, mg pointed in the downward direction so uh, that's down okay plus well let's take the length of that wire there okay it's a straight path so doing that integral constant current through that that wire there's no current accumulating at any point or the corners or anything like that so DL vector cross B well it's just straight and it's going to give us a consistent straight answer what's that equal to so we have MG down and then we're going to get I DL cross B so DL cross B well, that'll give us a if I flows this direction that'll be bad so we have to integrate this direction this direction I L cross B you know I need to use my right hand consistently <laughs> so the current flows this direction cross B and then we get the cross product pointing up so the I has to flow this direction okay and the length is just a B okay so if we want the net force to be zero then we basically have to equate these two so M G has to equal to I a B okay One's pointing down, one's pointing up. Um, so the current is just the mass times the gravitational acceleration divided by the length of that wire, the width of the wire, times the strength of the magnetic field. And that will produce the force we need to keep this mass stationary. And since it's stationary, we don't have to worry about induced currents or anything like that. All right, thank you for your time.